So let's check out this cabin place. Hmm. I think this guy was lying. Seems like all the cans are open. Maybe if he he would have got us in here and then shot us, or held us hostage, or never mind. Wait. Let's see if these cans are. Open. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. Thank you. I mean, he's been eating a lot of cans. <laughs> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Probably. WM. That'll come in handy. Feels pretty good. What you know about that, Clementine? I guess he slept here. Probably did. It's dead. Okay, maybe we can open his chest with the knife. Yep. I was right. You got a big ass knife like this. Why not try? There we go. Fucking knife is like a machete. Two cans. Man, not thought we had a bad. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. We should just, you know, not talk about it. There's only two cans here, so this guy said he had a lot of food. That's he lied funny. to us. She looks just like you. Oh, wow. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca... Well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. You understand, right? The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Hmm. What does he see? Oh shit! Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Even the pregnant lady is running. It looks like she needs to sit down. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. I know it is. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? Mm. That'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know she hated her treehouse. Maybe I should have asked. What am I looking for? Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. 
Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Oh. <gasps> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. <laughs> wow, well, this is high up. And there's a bird. Maybe. Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Why would he leave her? I thought he said he would catch her if she falls. Wonder what they're talking about without me. Anyways, let's just get down from this tower. We don't need to fall. That would be a bad thing. Breaking your leg in a zombie apocalyptic. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Wow. Holy shit. Wait, you know this I guy? I thought Kenny was dead. Clementine? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Shouldn't we be talking about the guys who were out there with the flashlights? I mean, this is kind of weird to just let that ride. Wow, this place is really nice. Got all the flags. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Come on, man. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm Us. good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Them two look alike. <laughs> Clementine put her little bag down. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. I mean, but then again, I'm thinking we shouldn't put our guns down because there are guys out there with flashlights. 
Who can these guys be? Like, we didn't even talk about that. We tried to call his name, but as soon as we called his name, he went over there to talk to him because they were having all these problems over there. When Clementine should tell them that there's still, still flashlights out there. Old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk mm -hmm. up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about mm -hmm. it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a yep. guy. That was Lee. When my son, well, he helped me do the right thing. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Let's see what we can help him with. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Yeah, it's important, but then... Gosh, you remind me of my students. That's bad. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Hmm. What is this? Le Walter Surprise. Le Walter Surprise. Salad with a peach roux. Let me stop. It's peaches and beans. It's all peaches we got. and beans. Huh. Striking resemblance. Why do everybody keep saying that? Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't, uh... We didn't even have a taste of it, but it's all good. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 
This old thing has a CD player in it? Wow. Crazy. Mm. Let's see what else we could take a look at. Mm, I'm guessing nothing over there. Well, let's go over here. I haven't What's seen one of these since. Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king let's go upstairs. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? What do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Yep. Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us. We were talking about, about us, Kenny. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just I'm talk to the, the rest guy. of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. She's trying to get him away so she could talk. <laughs> Smart. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? I don't hear nothing. She's gonna be a runner. Yeah, runner from these zombies. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, hmm. silly bear. Yeah, we can ask him. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I can't believe all this stuff. I love you too. You get some rest now. Wish we had one of those for dinner. Wonder if I go downstairs talk to them what happened. Let's talk to her. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little... Coaxing yep. these days. Perfect. Now we just need the top. Hmm, I see the topper up there. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Well, let's go get the angel. She 
should have put the star up there. Forget what the little girl had on top of her tree. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. Little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. I haven't noticed. Oh, well, let me know. What are you trying you to do. say? Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said wow. I got it. Always has what to play the for? gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Let's go eat, people.